Good evening, guys. It is May 19th, 2020. Um, this video here, I want to explain how to change a bag on the Eureka the Boss Smart Mac. Um, somebody commented and said on a prior video that I did, um, it wasn't as clear. So, um, I will redo that. So, the bags you need for the Eureka the Boss Smart Pack are the Eureka RR bags. You can get them off of Amazon. Um, nine pack, you can get them a lot of different places, but yeah. This is the last bag I have out of that nine pack. Which, I mean, in my house, a nine pack of bags will last. Oh, two, three years at least. <laughs> um, so, they will last a long time. So, I like to write the date on when I um, install the bag, just so I can actually know how long it's been in there, and uh, how it's going to keep track. So, um, first thing you want to do is you want to lift this latch and pull the cover back out and away. And set the cover aside. Next thing is to remove the bag, which I mean this is totally full. Really, I start to notice like they get like about half full and they start to get stinky and smelly. So, um, I do have a beagle, which that's part of the issue. <laughs> so, a lot of pet hair and uh, nasty dog smells coming um, up off the floor. So, you're going to see this yellow latch here. You're going to push that to the side. And then you're going to pull it pull the front down and then you're going to slide it out and so that will release your back now these have a, a seal to them um, they're not great but sometimes you can get them to work um, depending upon what you do but anyway, you would peel this off if I can. Oh, maybe, maybe I can. Yes. And so I usually just shove the wrapper down in the bag. It's all going in the trash anyway. And kind of seal it. I mean, it doesn't really do much, but it helps keep it from blowing your face. I'm just going to set that in the trash. And so, you can take a dry cloth and wipe the out if you want to. Um, I'm sure I'm going to do that. I'm to think of it. So... Just take a dry cloth and wipe it out. Yeah. Get all the dust out. Stuff like that. Um, so yeah. You don't have to do that if you don't want to, but I do that. Um, so you're going to take your new bag. There she is. <laughs> um, and you're going to insert it in this direction, like it says. Now, you're not going to just go, like, straight in. You know, that's just not how it works. You're going to push it towards the back this way. If I can get it to... There we go. So... You're going to push it towards the back, straight back. And then you're going to 
push it straight up and then you're gonna tilt it forward and try to get it um, like over this inlet. It's not the easiest. Just try to get it. Oh man. Sometimes this side is a pain. I'm gonna push straight up. There we go. Right around it, I think. Sorry for the weird camera angles. Um, so that will be there. Okay. I think I got it on there. I'm gonna try and get it on there as straight as possible. I mean, as long as it's level and. Everything you shouldn't have in the issues. So, I'm gonna be doing that. You tuck your bag in, make sure it's behind the seal, and then you are going to line up this notch here with this notch here. Right there. You're gonna set that in there and it'll set into place. And then you're just gonna line up your cover. This isn't always the easiest to get on there. It'll eventually go on. Um, and that's it. Um, this vacuum will not allow you to close the cover without a bag. So I will demonstrate that. You know, so if you try to close it and there's no bag in there, it's not going to let you. It is not going to close. I am pushing as hard as I can. I'm lifting on this. It is not going to close. So, so you must have a bag in there. And why would you run a vacuum without a bag? I have no idea, but some people are dumb and don't want to play it by the rules, you know. So, you're going to just install it like that. And that's it. So, now yeah, the cover's on. So anyway, there you go. Um... Please like, comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos.